That's what they're at. Not, not from his body, but from this. The loop. The loop. Mm -hmm. None of the hair on my body grows out evenly, so I always have to trim everything. My chest. I even trim my eyebrows. Mm. Because I don't want to pluck them because I don't want to have a bald spot, you know, where the follicle is. And that looks really strange, too. So, like, I go like this, and then if it's, like, sticking out too much or in the wrong direction, then I just trim it. So it remains at the same thickness, but it's more even, like when I go brush it back, either way. Because haven't you noticed sometimes you see like older men, like, including my father, he doesn't trim his eyebrows and they're getting like way up into here now. Yeah, I don't like that. He doesn't even think to trim them at all. I mean, all he has to do is take a pair of scissors. You don't have to have a professional to do it. Those crazy eyebrows, I think, are, are very <laughs> unattractive. <laughs> they're a real turn off to me. <laughs> <coughs> or hair in the nose. We all have to deal with that too, you know. You know, because I'm in my 30s now, and I get hair in the nose, and I have to go this way and this way in the bathroom mirror, and then, you know, like trim it sometimes. Well, there are trimmers you can buy that are that work. I've got one. And you just you can just pluck it. Uh, that's not considered a wise thing to do. You can get an infection that way. I've heard. Oh, well, because you're actually causing it to bleed. We get went right at the root there. Probably. What about your ears? Do you have to trim your ears? Well, I, I don't. I actually go to an electrologist. How often? Not very often. I had to go a few times often when I started, but as you get older, you get ear hair. <laughs> and it's, I find that even a bigger turnoff than, than crazy eyebrow hair. <laughs> there are people at work who have ear hair sticking out, and it's disgusting. So I go to an electrologist. Um, and then, so that takes care of it for a while. Is that yeah. expensive? Uh, it depends on where you go. I go to one that's more expensive because it's supposed to be more effective. Mm -hmm. If they do it right, they get it the first time. If they if they don't, you have to go back over and over and over again mm -hmm. for the same hair. Right. What about hair on the back? The men have hair all over their back. Do you like that? That's a turn off too. What about like on their lower back? Well, I think all men have that. And, you know, just leading down to the crack and everything. Yeah. But I'm, I try to keep my hair really precise. Like when I shave in the morning, I only have to shave. It's hard because I don't have a thick of beard this year. You probably have to shave every day, don't you? Yeah, I do. I really need to shave like every day and a half. But it, sometimes it's not even ready like after a day and a half. So I have to wait like every two days. Mm -hmm. It actually looks the best like 24 hours later, everything looks exactly right because, you know, right afterwards I'm breaking out a little bit and there might be some blood and I'm sensitive and everything, but mm. like 24 hours later it looks good. Like I shaved this morning. Do you use a razor or yeah, an electric a shaver? No, a razor. It's harder on your skin. It'll give you a closer shave, but it's harder on your skin. Inevitably, I'm going to believe in one spot, one or another. But when I do shave, I also shave, like I feel behind on my neck, you know, where my hairline ends from my haircut, and then I shave my neck, because all the way through school, I always hated it, you know, like when guys have like hair on their neck, especially if it's like really dark, and you see hair on their neck and it's all uneven. I like when it's like cut straight across, it's precise, and then they have a clean shaven neck. I think that's important too. That's right. I've never seen you at a bar. You're so wholesome. <laughs> Not wholesome. <laughs> when was the last time you had sex? When was the last it? time I had sex? Oh, who was it with? All the time. <laughs> just, just I'm always alone. <laughs> <laughs> we all have sex all the time. Oh, you don't want to say. You're not gonna say. What? I answered. Oh, uh, all the time. All the time. Oh, by yourself or with the other guy? Always alone. <laughs> but you don't have to be alone on this street. I won't say what street it is, but you and I are attracted. To, you and I are attracted to different people. I think we've established that. When you <laughs> when you walk down the street, you could just like get anybody the way you look in your body and everything. Well, I appreciate your having that opinion, but I haven't been quite that lucky. Also, I think a lot of people are intimidated by the fact that I'm a police officer. But how are they gonna know that if you don't tell them? They don't know that. Oh, well, they don't know that I'm a cop. So I've never been on TV or in Frontiers or on video. Oh. It looks like you have something on your ear. Right. Where? Like a sore. I was from a motorcycle accident. Oh, really? Turn that way so they can see. See right here? Yeah. 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 
I got the motorcycle accident. What happened? I met somebody at the Gold Coast who had been drinking. Mm -hmm. We rode on his motorcycle and he was going like 100 miles an hour, lifting the wheel up. And I was in the back and I, I was, I came all the way back down. Oh, wow. Shit. You mean, and then there was like. And then. You know, I almost, I hung on for life, and we got to the bar, other uh, bar, the detour up on Santa Monica and Sunset. We went in there, and we got back out, and I said, please be good, and he went out, and we, and a Cadillac hit us going about 50 from behind. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have a helmet on your head? No. So that's why you have the scars on the back of your head? Yep. So, there must have been blood all over. Yep. I couldn't walk right for a long time. My left leg was my left leg was uh, apparently broken or damaged. I didn't have to get a cast. But what do you find most attractive about men? Hmm. Their dick. No, I'm not. Uh, no, not necessarily. Your face? Uh, actually, I, it's what I find most attractive about any person, I think. Of course, you know, their looks make a difference, but uh, I think the kind of person they are has, you know. Oh, okay. That's, that's all fine and dandy, but I'm talking about looks. Right? Looks, looks. Of course. I don't know, probably their torso. Yeah. Their nipples. No, like shoulders, arms, that shoulders. type of thing. <clears throat> yeah. Shoulders and arms. Yeah. The man's asking me to come from a sexual place, and, you know, my mind's just not there. Maybe the face. The face. Yeah. The butt. The butt. Yeah, butts are nice. Men's, men have nicer butts than women. Not necessarily all the time, but they, they tend to be more. Uh, what? Yeah. Per perhaps. <laughs> it's such an objective thing. <laughs> A man's butt is equivalent to a woman's bosom. Uh, uh, no, in, I wouldn't in an say artist that. There's no for an artist. Oh, for an artist. For an well, artist. I'm not an artist, so I couldn't say. What about visually as well? I mean, curves. Men have curves. So do women. So women, women. Women are rather more curvaceous than men. That's true. Yeah. Curvy, curvy, curvy. Well, they're softer too. They're not sure. They're more sensual. They're different beings, they're different animals. Well, I'm I enjoy the life. What? Oh, you feel good. He has dark hair, so he has to shave more than I do. Uh, uh, yeah, we both haven't shaved. I, I have to shave. Today. I have to shave every one and a half days. I, I, I should shave every day, but I get around to shaving once every three days or so. Unless I'm working in a steady job and uh, uh, being clean shaven is desired, then I shave every day. Well, look at me and keep your mouth closed. Oh, he did it. He's perspiring right here. Oh, you had something on here for your chap lips? Yeah, exactly. Well, oh. No perspiration at all. Oh, I thought it was perspiration. No. Oh, no. It's Here's cold a... out there. Yeah. Baby, it's cold. It's cold out there, so you have to come inside and be warm. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I had to put chapstick on. Mm hmm Yeah. I was talking with some friends, and they said that the music that plays and Mickey's and Rage and all the other gay clubs is like there's a category for gay music because a lot of it is like black women singing songs about something bad that happened to them when they broke up from a lover and what they learned from it and what they're going to do now instead. A lot of it has that, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of it has that kind of like Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Right. And then that's just half of it. The other half is like Look at me now, how fabulous I am, and I'm ready to do everything I want to do. Maybe that says something about us, huh? <laughs> but there's all those cute songs like that, too, mm -hmm. about how fabulous. I'm going to do this, I look wonderful, here I am. Let's write a song, Here I Am. Here I Am. Here I Am. And what's the second one? Mm -hmm. Here I Am, and this is where I'm going. With you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounds like a top ten hit to me.